Hey guys, I'm Jenny, it's an occasion, and today we're back in Fort Glopspike, in the realm of Shaman. I know, I know, it's good to be back, isn't it? It's not, this place, it's disgusting, it's it's horrible. Also, one thing I find really bizarre, uh, which, I mean, I've, I've thought about it, I don't think I've ever bothered to mention it. Like, why, why doesn't this game have its own cursor? Like, is that not weird? The fact it's just like the Windows cursor? <laughs> like, just... Just something more fantasy inspired would be nice, wouldn't it? I bet you guys aren't going to unsee that now. You're just going to go, Windows cursor, every time you see it. Um, but yeah, Windows cursor. We can do the Bogway. The enemy warband bars the bars the Bogway. Destroy them. So, of course, we've got our uh, Lady of Ashes. Our Lady in Red. With uh, all our boys in green. So, um, we don't need to do anything. Let's just get straight in. Here we go. Destroy the enemy warband. Destroy wave one. Uh, I don't like how close they are to that. Uh, is that a barbecue? I think that is a haunted barbecue. Isn't that nice? That's lovely. Let's let's see if we can have some barbecue. So yeah, I don't know how to get there. Probably teleport someone to it. I would like to race them to here as well. But again, we've got that rot flying nearby. Also one thing which, um, again, I've mentioned... Uh, actively, but I thought about, is uh, the, the little sort of um, UI elements. Um, they they fit each of the guys, you know? I like that. Like, there's the Nurgle one, and the Nighthaunt one, and the and the Eternal... Um, uh, uh, what are they called? Genuinely forgotten. Genuinely forgotten. Stormcast Eternals. I think, was it Eternal what? No, it's it's what Eternal. Um, yeah, Stormcast Eternals. They've got their own little UI elements and borders and things. It's rather nice. Just, you know, adds to the flavour. It's uh, it's very well designed. The art is very nice in this game. I like good art. No, you get Why away from that. Boils, oh, they're no, totally going to grab that, aren't they? Oh, I bet they are. Jerk. Alright, well, I can't do anything else, so I guess I'll... I'm going to wait, actually. I'm not going to summon anyone in. I'm going to get some more ether. Because if we get three, we can one-shot someone with the Arcane Claw. Rude. Well. Time to get some lore. I'm right-clicking. I've been playing other strategy games. I'm going back to right-clicking to move. It's all left-click. Everything is left-click. So, Arcane Claw, who should I kill? Well, I can't kill any of them, so I guess I kill the fly. Okay, good. Ooh, actually. Uh, they'll be able to drag me into there, won't they? I forget a chain of our support, that might be good. Tell you what, let's get these guys in. Let's get in the cavalry. At least one of them. I can summon two now, which is disgusting. I love it. Okay, that's weirdly sexually aggressive. I don't like that. So these guys are on fire, which is, you know, classic them. Um, I mean, I don't really want to go up there, because I land on the wisp, which I'd rather not do. Tell you what, I'll just get you up there, you don't need to attack anything. And you get down there, they can't drag you down. Well, they could, I guess, but whatever, we'll assume they're not going to. Have at thee. Gyar. He thinks that's a pirate ship. It's not, it's a horse. He doesn't know the difference. Silly. High ground advantage. Lovely. Oh no, not the Kindred. Ah, oh, love those guys. Oops, I'm right clicking again. Lord Executioner. Uh, yeah, let's get him in. Good stuff. Now, let's get you over here. Uh, I don't want to go around. You can go around. So, can't quite finish them off. But, I suppose I'll take some pot shots. We've got a good chance to negate the damage. I don't actually want to kill them. Um, or do I, actually? They might do. Nah, let's take this guy. Let's just weaken everybody. We're in no rush. Cool. Alright, that'll do. And, uh, yeah, I just summoned you in. Just summoned... Well, just moved you, so... That's everything. Rude. Very rude. High ground advantage. You can retaliate. Yep. Didn't quite get the kill, though. But someone is bound to be caught on fire, so he's on fire, so he's dead. 
Good stuff. And we can make... I'm right-clicking again. Left-click. i got to remember to left-click. I just can't play any other game until I complete the series, you know. I've just got to keep playing. So, Chain Ghasts. Uh, I guess we can go there. And, I mean, I was hoping to summon some things, but... Oh, no. <laughs> he just said, let the bodies hit the floor. That's fantastic. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. It's most most middle-class depiction of that song you've ever heard. Uh, well, I'll do. So, who's coming? A couple of flies. Putrid boy and... Ah, they can hurt me on summon. I don't like that much. But I can kill them in a single hit, so I'm going to kill them in a single hit. What are they going to do on death, though? Nothing. Good. Probably should have checked, though. Probably should have checked, because of course they can fly. They can bite to restore health. Ignores armor. It's only one damage, so it's not a big deal. Um, retaliate for three. Yeah, on summon, adjacent enemies take a damage. And uh, Nurgle's Blessing. If they're hanging out in corruption, they'll uh, gain some health back. So, you know, nothing too major. Once again, I'm right-clicking. Left-click. Good. Alright, let's do one of those. Move you up here. Let's move you up here. And let's move you up here. Move you over here. Okay. I guess that's all we can do. We can't really do anything else. Oh, I can summon in more people, but so far away. So I guess I'll just save up all the power for the ether. Because I think ether's going to be more useful here. Yeah, here he comes. Nope, off he goes. Oh, okay. He just doesn't want to be in this battle at all, huh? That's fine. I was going to come towards you anyway. Okay, we get some good damage into him. You do four damage, right? Five damage. That's even better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kindred get attacked. It's just circular life, mate. Good. Um, see, I was going to summon someone in. <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. No, it'll be more useful than the other thing. Yeah, sure. Sure it will, Janet. Sure it will. Uh, Arcane Claw, dead. Excellent. I really like that ability. It's very useful. It really is. God, two waves. Only took us seven minutes. We are getting through these so much quicker now. It's ridiculous. Uh, plus one Whirling Death. Who has Whirling Death? Blade Geist Revenants. On, on death, attack one or more. Random adjacent enemies one time in a single hex, whirling death. That's very cool. That is very cool. Attacking on death. That is very cool. I think we can get their damage quite high. Also, slowing chains for chain rasp hordes. These rusting chains, despite their appearance, are utterly unbreakable, binding the night horned, um, bearing them to serve their master for eternity. Well, that's no good. Sounds rubbish. Yeah, not sure I want to opt into that, but uh, deals one damage and pulls the unit. Interesting. Huh. Also slows them. Uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting um, attack, that. I think that's the main attack, though. So I wonder. Huh. So we've got some more, uh, more lore. So Mad Visions, ever-changing zinch. Uh, let's see, we got Blade Geist Revenants. We already got some of them, though. Radiant Soul Beacon, plus one aura healing. This is for the Guardian of Souls that we don't have. Also, two miracles is sort of insane to get the offer of two miracles, but we already have plenty, so it's sort of pointless. Okay, got a level up here. Good. So, next up, we have a Realm Gate, the Rust Root Egress. Sounds cool. Again, same old bunch. So, Nurglings, uh, Blight Kings or whatever. Putrid Blight Kings and the Rotbugs. So, nothing major. So, what is it? Oh, Slowing Chains are for you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sorry, this looked like the... the whatever weapon this is. Look like this, see? Look like that thing. That's what I thought that was. So yeah, that sucks. Like, I'm not changing this. One thing I might do, though. Get rid of the Lord Executioner for a minute. And let's look at the Blade Geist Revenants for a second. Because they do have... Potentially... A lot of good stuff now. Uh, oh, that was it. 
Whoops. So, Whirling in Death. And if we can give them... Uh, who has that which thirsts? Who's got that equipped? Was that you? Yes. I was thinking if we gave them something like that, that would be pretty great. But sadly, we can't. I was thinking if they die and they get to retaliate, then even if they get killed, they're going to do so much damage on the retaliation. But eh, I guess not. Because we don't really have anything to equip them with. So, never mind. I suppose. Never mind. May as well unequip that. I was trying to unequip it, but if I even can. There we go. Good. Um, okay, let's get rid of you. Get the Lord Executioner here. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see, a Bloodstained Scythe is still the best thing he's got. And the plus one damage is doing good work. So I guess that'll do. Let's hop back in. Ho, ho, ho. So what's going on here, huh? So we're above the realm gate. That's quite cool, isn't it? I don't know what these little gaps are. I guess it's a tunnel that goes through through here and then <laughs> and then through this whole tunnel to somewhere. It's fun. Anyway, uh, you there. Let's get you over here. So we need to come over here, obviously. Uh, these little divots, I'm assuming, are instant kill zones because they won't tell us what they are. So I'm assuming these are instant kill little spots. We need to keep away from them. That is a lot of Nurglings. Look at all the go. Aww. <laughs> They're cute. Anyway, uh, right. Let's get in some more troops, because we can. And that'll do it. Should have probably moved, but, you know. They're throwing themselves about to make corruption. That's how they do it. And here comes a rot fly. Okay, you start moving over. Oh, is that high ground we're on? Oh, I didn't even realise. The lighting made it... Yeah, I just thought this is all ground. But no, this is high ground here. Silly me. Well, let's keep summoning in more. Just keep this place busy, I suppose. Although, it would actually be nice to use some of this power for ether so I can um, just use that grasp move and just get a kill straight away. Stops this one being a menace. Although, got the high ground advantage. So, you know, that's good news. Uh, Alright, let's get you up here. And, oh. Oh, that's also high ground here. I didn't realize that either. Cool. Cool, we'll just stay on the high ground then, I suppose. Marvelous. So, do I want anything else? Maybe I get you. Having this guy just charge across and grab that stuff means I can focus on uh, killing these guys, which would be more useful to me, I think. <laughs> A little... Little nurglings just stinking up the place. We really do need to deal with them before they destroy, like, well, not destroy, but gum up everything. Uh, nice retaliation here. Lovely. They're basically dead. Yes, yes. Oh, he's dead. And... Yeah, let's charge in there. That might cause corruption, but I'm kind of fine with the limited amount of damage we'll be suffering. And let's get into the high ground. So there's Plague of the Endless Cycle and Foul Harvest, and that's created some more Nurglings. Because we killed them on a place that was corrupt, so they landed there and then that did more corruption. And when there's more corruption, it turns into more Nurglings and, you know, all the nonsense. Okay, good. Let's crack on. So we might be stuck there until those Nurglings are dealt with. They're still throwing themselves about to stink up the place some more. They just can't help it, can they? Oh, nice. It's to attack. Suffering some uh, damage there by the looks of it. So it can't move them until we deal with these little blighters. Which I can't seem to attack from there, so... Good, good. We got some loot. We'll get some more in a second. See, I can't do anything with them. Uh, but, I uh, nope, can't even hit with that. That's very annoying. Um, well, now I don't know. I guess I will attack this guy. We'll suffer some damage, but it doesn't matter. 
That will blow up. Dead. Good. And then, yeah, I don't know what to do about these guys. I guess what I could do is use chain gas. That's probably a good idea. Okay, good. Let's end the turn and see what's what. Oh, yeah. Nurgling's gonna Nurgling. Okay, good. They attack that way. You're not gonna attack back? I'm so confused by this. I just don't think this is how this is supposed to work. No, can't even attack there either. Well, they're on fire now, so I guess that's fine. Whoops. Still right clicking. Okay, come on. Add a girl. Uh, okay, that's not on fire. We're fine. That's all snotty, though. So, don't have anything to do with that. Oh, that's where something is spawning, by the looks of it. So, okay. Hit with an indirect attack. And I can bring in another bunch of ranged units over there. And I guess that'll do. Okay, that's quite... Oh, yeah, we suffered damage on spawn. Okay, I think those are finally dead. So I think we freed up our other unit there. So they took a bunch of damage. Oh, and I can't quite kill them. Not in one go, anyway. Let's see. So I would like to be healed up. Quite honestly. Um, okay, yeah, I think I'm going to attack with both of these. Did I seriously not do any damage there? I seriously didn't do any damage there. Oh, good. I guess I'll just attack with these then. And I'll attack over here. Actually, you know what? I'll aim for the flies. Oh, they're probably going to fly over. I'll aim for these nerglings. Why not? And you lot can heal yourselves up. Okay, you head up there again. I'm going to just get ether, so I'm not going to summon any more nonsense. I know they're over there, but I'm not going to use them. We got this handled. Oh, more putrid blight kings. That's annoying. Okay, they're showering each other in pus, I think. It's a bit gross. Alright, did some good damage to them. So, I can finish them off. And that's just going to make more of them, I think. Possibly. Let's see. Did they make more of them? They might do. No. We're good, I think. Possibly. Uh, okay, let's use Malign Strike. It'll rend his armor. How long do we ensure their blows? And I guess... I mean, I don't want to stand there, really. Um, oh, it's only showing me the Lingering Wisp. I don't know what the corruption's doing. But yeah, one damage and one armor rend per turn. Fine. You do that. Jerk. Alright, let's see if we can't hit them. And... Yeah, I guess you can come up here. Fine. Okay, that'll do. So we killed all the Nerglings. And just these jerks. Not a corrosive rend. That's not so bad. Yeah, and he's flying away. You absolute jerk. Okay. I don't know what got hit there, really. Okay, good. We're done. Yeah, we're done. So now if you come over here. Come on, girl. Arcane Claw to finish off the fly. I really like Arcane Claw. It just helps us kill stragglers. It's wonderful. Really good ability to have. Just the range on it and the damage. And ignoring armor. Like, it's it's everything you need just to just delete a troublesome unit. It's really good. So, Wisp Nexus Nightmare Lantern. So, you summon Pyres. So, on spawn, spawn adja uh, on adjacent hex is the same or lower elevation. Spawn on adjacent hexes of same or lower elevation. What? Wisp Nexus, each turn, spawn one Wisp on an empty adjacent hex. Okay. Uh, cool. Yay, I guess. Just spawns a lot of Wisps. That's fine. Uh, more experience, but chilling cool. Usable by Mirnmorn Banshees, which we don't have. We still don't have any of these. 
But if they die, it creates an ice hazard. So that's really cool. That is really cool. It's a shame we don't get to grab that. But oh well. Uh, well, don't get to put it to use. Also, mad visions. So more lore. Rewards. And now we get to select one. Uh, more chain ghasts could be fun. Common great souls not really going to do anything. I guess we'll get more chain ghasts if we have to pick. Yeah, it might be nice having a couple of ranged units at some point. A couple of level ups. Level up for the Lady of Ashes is always brilliant. It's always so useful to have. Like, unbelievably useful to have. And yeah, chain ghast maxed out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So next up we have the Northern Ward or the Storm Racks. And you know what? I think I might do another another level today. Let's see. And then uh, probably be the probably the final two missions of this area next uh, next episode, huh? So the enemy warband bars the way. Destroy them. So that's got something a bit unique in there. Now that's going to be really easy, though it does have unique stuff in there, including what looks like a great unclean one or something in there, which is interesting. So destroy all enemies or slay the target. Uh, destroy all enemies is apparently more difficult, but slaying the target has a more interesting range, so let's do that one. And let's get you another skill. I cannot believe she's only leveled up once. Pathetic. So guard is good. And burning hatred is pretty great. So I guess we go burning hatred. She attacks things, they get set on fire. Wonderful. That'll do it. Apparently something else is here. Did you get a did you get another weapon, did you? Was that it? Was there another weapon? I mean, I'd love to give you that witch there. It's all the night. She really needs another weapon. Our best two weapons we got equipped on other units. Although saying that, she's got that big claw. She can just kill people. Like, it's not a problem. Other than that, she just sets everyone on fire. So, yeah. She doesn't even have the best armor, but we don't have any problems with her. Still cleans up. Cool. So yeah, it's uh, Ikorian Canker Scorn that we have seen before. We have seen it before in the in the Eternal. I keep saying Eternal first. Stormcast Eternals. There we go. So you go there. I really want to get this war chest, but I just don't know if we're able to. Uh, presumably, again, these will be instant kills because they're not telling us what they are. So let's keep away from these and those. So so we go straight down the middle, which is fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. This guy's also quite weak. Not that healthy. So, that's something also. Um, not going to be able to get up there in a turn, which really upsets me. I mean, I think these guys are definitely going to go up to the high ground. What? What just happened? Did she have... She just had her armor sundered. We need to get her the hell out of here. What? Oh my god. I was just saying how great she was. She's going to die. She can't do anything. Like, everything is in range of her always? That hardly seems fair. Bloody hell. We're screwed. These these bugs can kill her. Easy. Wow. Is that it? We lost. Just because they have an entire army of ranged stuff. This is supposed to be the easy one. But yeah, all these guys just blasting us from a mile off. Nothing we can do. Oh, the oh, the God, these things are so creepy. Yeah, we need to get a horse over here. Oh, please go away. I don't like it. Oh, I hear the buzzing. How oh, we took it. He was always going to take it, though, wasn't he? Let's be honest. Uh, so I can't even... Can't even really do much here. <laughs> and it will hit us. They do four damage, these ones. Look at that. Look at that. Everything is in range. That does not seem fair. Well, I'm going to try and attack anyway. We might lose them, but... We need to start doing some damage to these guys. I don't know what to do with it. Not a clue. But I'm going to keep moving her, because I think they're targeting her space. It's hard to tell. Alright, well, that'll have to do. Just hope I don't die. They got the high ground though, so they might be able to reach us. But they could rend my armor the first turn from across the map. Awful. Terrible news. 
How? How? That is so far. What the hell? This is crazy. What? What an insane combo. Like, there's literally nothing I could have done then. Because like, you gotta you got to summon in your, your hero first. Everyone else is moving forwards as quickly as I could. So yeah, no options. Absolutely no options there. Wow. All right. Well, good I did another one. Because this would have been a rubbish episode if I just started this and died. But uh, all right. How about that? Kind of sad. That's our first loss, guys. That's our first loss. We haven't we haven't died yet since I started uh, started playing this on the channel. But yeah, oh well, bound to happen eventually, I suppose. But yeah, that's nuts. Like there was no avoiding that. Just had the perfect combination. And just after I was saying how great she was, even with the extra armor, I don't think it would have helped. She would have just lasted like another turn. Crazy, absolutely crazy. I do get to select a reward though. I mean that's rubbish. Arcane Claw's rubbish. That one anyway. Beguiled. Stunned an enemy unit. I mean, that sounds quite good. It's a divine act. Wow, that's really not very useful for a divine act. Or more experience, which sounds quite good, I suppose. Uh, hmm. 200 is quite a bit of experience. That would help me get some, uh, some worse units sort of up and running quicker. So that's not a terrible idea, because these are both rubbish. So I guess I'm going for tribute. Against all odds, I went for the tribute. <laughs> Lady of Ashes leveled up again. Good. Although you are dead, so... Oh, risen from the Underworlds. You cannot kill what is already dead. Though banished to the Underworld, the Lady of Ashes' return was inevitable. Risen to the realms once more, she begins the bloody work of restoring her rule. Alright. Well, cool. Later, then. Um, so I'm not going to try this again. I'm not going to play the same campaign again, because that'd be boring. Uh, so I might do Nurgle. Might just call it, honestly. Uh, I might just call it here. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you posted. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.